If you are brand new to the bassoon or you just recently started, then welcome. I'm going to teach you the first five notes that you need to know in order to learn the bassoon, especially if you're in any type of band class or band ensemble. everyone, I'm Natalie, and if this is the first time that we're meeting, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on future videos that I make that could help you in the future. The first note you're going to learn is F, and it's by far the easiest note to play because all you have to press down is this whisper key in your left hand. So the next note we're going to learn is D. Press down the whisper key just like you did for F, and then you're gonna press down one and two in your left hand on the front of the bassoon. C is really easy. It's very similar to D, so you play the fingering for D, whisper key, one, two, and then you're gonna add this third finger, um, or you're going to cover the plateau key to play C, and C sounds like this. The next note you're gonna learn is a little bit more complicated than the others, but it's not too bad. So you're gonna add your right hand now. And so you're gonna play C, finger C like we just did. And then in your right thumb, you're gonna add the B flat key with your right thumb. And then on the front of the bassoon with your uh, index finger and middle finger, you're going to cover these two tone holes. So you, all in all, you've got whisper key, one, two, three in your left hand and you've got B flat key with your thumb and your right hand, one, two, and that's your B flat. The final fingering that you're gonna learn is E flat, and it is a little bit more tricky. I saved it for the end just because it's a little bit more involved than the other notes that we learned, but you can definitely do it. So you're gonna play your whisper key with your left hand, left thumb, then on the front of the bassoon, you're gonna do what's called a forked fingering, which means you're gonna play with your first finger and your third finger, but you're gonna leave your middle finger, your second finger open, and then you're going to use your left pinky to play this upper key right here, the resonance key, and that is your E flat, and that sounds like this. Now, if your E flat is really unstable, if it's kind of wobbly and it doesn't sound great, you can add some things in your right hand to make it sound better. So you could add your right thumb on the B flat key, and you could also add your second finger, the second tone hole in on the front of the bassoon in your right hand. All in all, that's gonna be whisper key, one, three, then you just have your second finger in your right hand and you have your B flat key and your right thumb. And that is the full E flat fingering. And that sounds like this. I recommend using the short or the left hand only E flat fingering that I showed you to begin with, only because it's a little bit less complicated than the longer fingering that I just showed you. And it kind of blends in a little bit better with the notes around it. However, every bassoon is different, every reed is different, every player is different. You'll have to experiment for your setup, whether the short E flat or the long E flat with both hands is gonna work better for you on your bassoon. And I'd love to hear which of those E flats works better for you. So let me do know down in the comments, do you like the short E flat or the long E flat better? What sounds better for you? So there you have it. Those are the first five notes that you need to learn bassoon, especially in a band class setting. If you found this video to be helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below with any questions or comments that you have about this video. I'll see you in the next one.